plus two. This is Jean Workman of Momsell Stitches. Thanks for watching me today and welcome to my channel. Um, I really thought I'd have a lot more videos posted since my last one, but it just didn't work out that way. <laughs> Life in your feet. I uh, hope you're having a good summer. In Georgia, it has rained a lot. If you haven't had any rain, I'm so sorry we've gotten all your rain. It's been much cooler than sometimes but still pretty beastly hot when the humidity kicks in. But I hope you're having a good summer. Um, I'll tell you what I've been doing that prevented me from posting a little bit. We had the outside of our house painted. This house is brick. There's not a lot that has to be painted, but we have the most wonderful painter, and he's very meticulous. So uh, he was with us for many weeks, and, and because it's so hot here, he'd come early, which is great. We get up early. But um, it was kind of loud around here. I didn't really feel like I could get my stuff done. But uh, he, he loves to paint with his radio station on, and he likes music I was really not familiar with, kind of rock, contemporary Christian music. So the channel he likes plays kind of the same songs over and over again. And I learned a lot of new songs. <laughs> And that was kind of neat. And sometimes I'll burst into song, not realize, realizing that that's what I'm doing. And, and, and some of them, they're all great, but some of them are a little repetitive. And after a while, it, I was obnoxious to myself. <laughs> but anyway, he's done and uh, that's good. And then I had sort of fallen into some other interests this summer, uh, outside gardening a little bit and um, in my past life, I, I used to have to get up so early, like 2.30 in the morning, leave the house at 3.30 to go to work. So my body, after 41 years of doing that, thinks it's time to wake up at 2.30. So I have begun uh, shamelessly watching on YouTube videos all the Harry and Meghan gossip. Now that's pretty pathetic, <laughs> but I don't know, it's kind of entertaining to me. <laughs> but. The Needlework Expo uh, in August is coming up. The dates are August, the last three days, 28th, 29th, 31st. And um, I have been working really hard and I anticipated five, maybe six new designs. Well, I have three, but I'm, I'm happy to have three. I'm working on two more and, and they're in timeout right now. I'm just, I'm just tired of them. <laughs> But today I'm going to share with you one of them. Um, somebody asked me uh, about my how I think about design, and and I really like historic samplers. So I am inspired by historic samplers. So I'll show. Well, let me show you what I've done, and then I'll sort of tell you my thoughts on design. This one is called Oh Glare. Get it in there with no glare kind of make me a blessing to someone today you'll just have to look it up um, I've got pictures of, of it on Instagram and different ways but in this room there's going to be glare because I have glass on it um, and, and you can see it it has uh, it has beginnings in historic samplers so for me in designing, there's kind of a vocabulary that I use. I like a saying, that's where I start uh, something funny or inspiring or out of the bottle or whatever. Make me a blessing to someone today is the title of a song I sang at my little country church in my youth. In, um, in my church back then, we would sing out of the formal Methodist hymnal in the morning and then on Sunday nights we'd sing out of smaller old tiny books. And we used to sing out of one called Spiritual Life. Had a lot of songs that were not in the Cokesbury, the other standard that we sang from. And Make Me a Blessing to Someone Today is in there. And you can listen to it on YouTube. So I started with there, the saying, Make Me a Blessing to Someone Today. And then, um, as you can see, I use historic motifs. And where I start is I look at historic samplers online, on auction sites, and if there's a border I like, I take a picture of it. I chart it out, change it. That's 
sort of what I do with all my stuff. I start there, and then um, I change it. These birds were inspired by a sampler from the 1800s, so that's how I do it. But um, I was kind of loosely thinking about what could make you a blessing to someone today. Um, my send them some flowers. You can see some flowers on there. Or uh, sing them a song, sing little songbirds. Or um, have a glass of wine with them. Just, just things to make you a blessing to someone today. The whole thing is to hopefully <laughs> let people be happy to see you when you're coming. Not run and not answer the door <laughs> when you visit. But that was my inspiration point. And um, so for me, I, I need a, a border because that kind of ties the whole thing cohesively. I like these motifs that are um, sort of spot sampler inspired. Um, these like make me a blessing, of course, came out of this hymnal. Some of my things. Um, just were inspired by life. I, on my phone, when I hear something that kind of makes me think or inspires me, I just stick it in my notes. So I have a lot of things to choose from to possibly stitch. So that's where I start. But um, I'm so glad that it's summertime. Uh, you know, I moved into this house a year ago, so it was interesting see what was coming up in the garden had no idea and took out some things and planted some things well in the middle of my middle of the night YouTube video watching um, I got inspired by do-it-yourself fountains so when I was should have been stitching I was hunting down fountain pumps and urns and stuff so I got one going and I'm gonna have another one but you know, it's just something to do, it's something fun. <laughs> Take my mind off whatever it is it should be on. But um, I have two more <clears throat> framed pieces ready for um, this show. And I'm going to do them as separate uh, YouTube videos because it makes me more interesting. <laughs> I don't want to throw out all my goodies at one time, you know. I, I would like to thank, uh, I, it's been such a joy to see on Instagram uh, the people who have, <clears throat> excuse me, posted pictures of th their stitching my designs. And that just tickles me to no end. And um, a couple of them have reached out to me and had kind words to say that. Thank you, thank you. I, it, you know, it's just a little dream. Maybe nobody wants to stitch my stuff, but that's okay too. Um, it just has really been uh, such a gift to see people's progress. And gosh, some of y'all stitch so much faster than I do. This one gal did um, the doxol ocean doxology. I think she stitched the whole thing in two weeks. It took me six or eight weeks. But, you know, I'm picking colors and taking out colors and finding mistakes. So... I edit as I go and hopefully find mistakes, but who knows. I will share with you something about this, this make me a blessing sampler. I was carrying it all around wherever I was stitching, which was probably not that smart, and, and I put it down on a permanent marker. So I'll show you my boo-boo in, um, in the graphic cover of my chart. The design, the graphic design guy, the printer magically could take all this out. But if you can see this little blue blob, I thought I can take that out. I made it bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'll always know this one's mine because it has a nice blue stain up there. But I was at the end by then, and by golly, I was not going to stitch this sucker again. So it's just life. <laughs> have a blue blob on your stuff too. Thanks y'all for watching so much. I uh, um, really appreciate it. Uh, I'll have two more, uh, at least two more framed pieces to show. 
and I'm still stitching the other ones. One of them, I'll give you a little piece on what it is. One of them is uh, it's a grief sampler. You know, if you live long enough, you're going to have a loss. And uh, stitching just makes me feel better. So when I'm finished with that one, I'll show you. But it was something that got me kind of out of a hole when I lost someone. So. And, and that's life, I know that. But um, it really is true that stitching, if you love to do it, and it's relaxing. Now, if you hate it and, and you're killing snakes and you hate it because <laughs> you don't like it, it's not relaxing. But, you know, it'll take you somewhere, soothe your little spirit, and, and that's a very good thing. Or it's good company. Stitching is good company. So, well, thank you, friends, so very much for uh, subscribing me, watching me, and um, I am going to have two more videos at least. So, hopefully... I'll get them done soon. We'll see. But um, have a great day. Stay safe wherever you are. And thank you so much. Bye-bye.